Hi, I'm Greg. I'm Shelly. And, and together, together we're, we're Dave's, Dave's Great, Great Adventure. Adventure. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we want. Today's video is a cooking video. I talked to Greg into it and it's just something we put together real quick because i was making uh bot roast for dinner yep. <laughs> and it was kind of late in the day so we kind of modified the recipe from a slow cook to a quick cook so i hope that shows you how you can do that yep so what we need your help we need to have a name for our cooking episodes or our cooking videos we kind of everything we came up with was either lame or boring so we want something kind of fun um those of you that know greg Think of something fun, but spice it up with Greg. Hey, I like that. Who must for vases for before? No. <laughs> I don't so, know. <laughs> so if you could help us out after you watch this video, um, put it down in the comments or email it to us, and we will take all of them and and pick uh, the most popular. And yeah, that's what the second the next video will be. So yeah. hurry up and post them. <laughs> so. So we can know what to call it. Okay, here's Good. the video. Thank Enjoy. you. Gonna make a roast. A roast. What kind of roast are we making? Chuck roast. Chuck roast? You're doing a Mississippi pot roast? No. Just a chuck roast. Just a regular chuck roast. Okay. I'll do a Mississippi some other time. Okay, so what do you got going there? Uh just some choice. Chuck roast, they didn't have the thicker slice like they normally do for a roast, um, but they just had some thinner, maybe half inch thick, but that'll work too. Um, okay. Just, it'll just tenderize quicker so you're not cooking as long. Um, anyway, so I have that. We picked up it on sale. So got some onions and then just regular yellow onions, but then I got some, uh, how do you say it? It's Cipollini? Cipollinis, I yeah. Think. These little um, mini onions, which takes about as long to peel one of those as it does a regular onion. <laughs> but anyway. So what but, size are your onions that you cut up? You left the chipolini. It'd be whole. a large. No, I mean the size. Yeah, it'd be a large. Okay. That's peeled, cut in half, and then cut. So how much do you think you have there? Two cups? Probably about two cups. But okay. I mean, it's just depends. If you like onions, I was going to do even a whole another onion because we love onions. Mm -hmm. If you don't like onions, you can leave them out. It's your roast. <laughs> so, but I typically put in potatoes to cook along with it. Um, I like putting, we just had a few odds and ends left that need to use up. What do we got? Some gold? Some gold. We like to have those good all purpose. They do the best mashed potatoes and they, you can even get this size and do bakers. Yeah. But I just typically put some this size and cut them in half so yeah. they can soak up the juices. <laughs> I'll let my sous chef get that later. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Guess who the sous chef is? Boo boo. He's gonna oh, get boo -boo. it. Boo boo. He'll just snip it. <laughs> um, I just pick off it if there happen to be some eyes in it. Um, Cutting them in half. That size. Typically, I cut them in half just so that that way the juice can soak in. Aren't those pretty? Uh, and then we have some fingerlings, assorted fingerlings, potatoes that we need to use up. Mm -hmm. So I'll throw those in, probably not at the same time as I do those, so it'll be kind of layered. Right. So the fingerlings. So, you don't, you normally cut them in half as well? No. That size? Just leave For them For a roast, I just leave them whole. Okay. Unless they get, you know, unless there are some big ones. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to move some stuff around and okay. we'll get started. Oh, and I got carrots. Yes. Little mini you carrots can use, are Well, easier. you can use regular cuts, cut them down, and I just happen to have this left, and I'm going to use them. Okay. Put them in whole. Okay. So, we're cooking today with the Ninja Foodie, um, which is like the Instant Pot, but with the... Uh, an air cooker attached. Uh, won't be using the air cooker today. But um, starting it off, basically I put it uh, cooking with just this here, put it on high on so I can sear the meat. You don't have to. I like to sear the meat, kind of keep some of the juices in it, especially with it being this thin. Um, I happen to have a, it's about nine and a half inch diameter opening. I happen to have a pan for one of my stock pots that fits a lid. perfect. A lid. A lid. Thank you. Um, <laughs> that I use for this, that you can also ha use if you don't have that and you want to keep, get the, to heat up, 
keep the heat in there you can just use the steamer lid but right. just remember it, it might build up some pressure in there so you'd have to vent keep the vent open to get it off right put it off and on you don't use this or it'll shut off okay so i've got that hot so once you step around the other side and i'll we'll start searing the meat um i, I switched off of olive oil just because it seemed it burned so easy but using now uh, avocado oil okay. it's got a higher smoke point so just put a little bit in there and then i typically season this is just a season called off one touch um similar to like a montreal steak seasoning but it's finer so um but just season the meat up good and uh, i just don't have the montreal steak seasoning with me so i'll use this for now and i'll just sear off i'm gonna get the pan good and hot like i did to start so you just that juice, and i'll just leave it alone other than putting some on the other side just want to sear it for a minute or so and almost got some color to it so is this pot um um do we need to worry about using metal on it um as long as they're i use you know, like tongs and see how they're rounded yeah there's no points and stuff like that um you don't want to use like a fork in there or anything that can scratch the the coating um it's what i find so if you have some tongs that have rounded edges as much that's fine or use nylon deals i have some tongs that have rubber edges to them right you can't grip anything with them <laughs> everything just falls off especially if you're trying to eat chicken when it just falls off i think one of the best things we found or that we like about this is how easy it is to clean up oh yeah i we did something the other out. day in here and we got busy doing other things and i was steaming what the heck was i cooking it's something mexican oh, oh i did molly molly yeah and so i had water underneath the basket i was steaming them and we got busy doing something else and I was, just, I was just heating up the tamales and all of a sudden I'm like, oh no. Went over there and it's just, smelling. of course, the tamales had cooked off the cheese. It was a uh, green chili cheese uh, yeah. tamales. Right. So the cheese had kind of cooked out down on the bottom and it, burnt, you know, and it was like, coated. Oh so anyway, I just set, put some water in it and we kind of let it sit. And uh, that actually the, the whole thing just I took a rubber spatula. Rubber spatula, and come up and, and a, like layer, the whole layer came up. It was up. amazing. And so we just took that and threw it in the trash, and then she just washed it up and it's gone. Yep. So if you're full time RVing, um, full time living, a Ninja Foodie is in our book of not a have to, but a I want to. I mean, the, the downside is you do have this in your way when you're not you, you know I'm not the fryer lid. Fine. Yeah. Um, but when you store it. We store it with, you know, we take the pressure lid off and we store it separate actually in the oven. Um, so then we can just have this down. Right. And we store it typically on the counter. When we travel, we just put it down underneath our table. Yeah, and it travels so. fine like that. So basically, I got some color on this one. So I will season them up and brown them off the same way and then we'll come back. Stay tuned. Well, I decided, you know, with this meat being thinner and it's later in the day, we got kind of busy doing stuff that I'm just going to quarter these so they're about the same size of the fingerlings but um, so instead of slow cooking it you know to like four hours on high or six to eight hours on low mm -hmm. um, there's one thing that's nice with this there's actually a bake setting um, that you can do or, or I'll probably do the slow cook on high um, but uh, so then you can just slow cook it Okay. or bake it type you know a little quicker because this is thinner thinner cut right um so we'll get that going so basically i've got that i can see it's nice to use that this lid that i found works i'll take that meat out you normally know, you have a nice thick piece but don't have it so what i do so i just let that keep going where it's hot and i'll take some of these onions layer on the bottom got that then I will put all the meat down 
smells so yummy already. It's all down there. And never throw away any juice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, what I typically do is I have some other seasonings that show you pictures of for you. Um, I always throw, I'm doing roast, throw in some bay leaves, but you count them. That way you can make sure you get them all out. I typically <laughs> just drop it around in here and let it cook underneath and I'll stir the meat and stuff like that okay. as we're cooking. So put that in there. Any Danny rag in my pocket. <laughs> always. So, and then. I'm always throwing his rags away. Yeah, I, so I, <laughs> I have to hide them from her. So you can put the potatoes in, in. And those potatoes in. So yeah, we're putting them all in together since we yeah, decided. Yeah, since uh, I'm gonna, I slice those thinner. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, uh, you could put water, you know, to go with that beef base. Or I like beer. You can put tequila. You can put whatever you want in it. What do we got um, there? This is just what we have in the fridge. Make a little ultra. Oh, uh, yum! Sure. That's a good. Yep. <laughs> so I always say you can put the whole bottle in, or if you're smart, you can save about that much for the cook and the sous chef. About that much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then you put in your carrots. And then you put the rest of the onions Layered over on the top. top. Okay. And what I typically do too is put a little more Italian seasoning to season the veggies that are on top. Mm -hmm. Also add a little more of the steak seasoning over the top of that. The Alpine Touch. Okay. Um, and at that point, um, I took. A little sip of that, but oh, that in there. Oh, I didn't get any. She didn't get any. So, since we're just we're going to kind of make it quick, I'm going to go ahead and use the lid. And this okay. is the steamer the pressure, yeah. pressure lid. Pressure lid. So you just lock it on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now that we put the pressure lid on, mm -hmm. okay. So basically, I just turned it off. But so you turn it back on, and with this lid on there, without this down, it just lights up the top row. So you get these choices you can do. You can pressure cook it, steam, slow cook or the sear saute was what I was doing before. But I just thought, you know, we're, we need to eat sooner. So I'm gonna use the pressure to cook this. But see, you could use the slow cook mm -hmm. instead of for how many hours you want, if you want a low temp or high temp and start it and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do the pressure. Um, I'm actually gonna do, it's called the low pressure. Mm -hmm. Just cause I try it out. And I'm gonna set it for probably We'll start at 20 minutes, mm -hmm. and I set up here on top where the, the vent is sealed, and then down here okay, I... Wait, how do you change that? You just toggle this, it? You just toggle it, yeah. Okay. So you do that to vent it. Obviously, I have not cooked much with this. No. So and I'm so then, too. So then you just hit start, mm -hmm. and what it does, this comes on and shows that you're actually going to be uh, pressure on. cooking. Mm -hmm. not. Not the, this shows that the heat's coming down from the air crisper. Mm -hmm. This shows the other lid that it builds steam. Um, so it's building the steam up, heating it up. So this will circulate and your 20 minutes won't start until this okay. goes. And with the low pressure, it'll actually start sooner. It doesn't have to build as high sure. pressure. So I'm cooking at a lower temperature, kind of, you know, in the lower pressure. Um, so it won't just make everything gush. Okay. Is that a word? Gush? Gush? Sure. Mush? Gush? Whatever. So, anyway, we'll let it go and we'll stop and check it in a little bit. Okay, so anyway, I was checking it. We got busy doing something and uh, the basically when this gets done doing the pressurized, it shuts down and just goes switches to keep warm. And so it just naturally loses the pressure, you know, and so that was for like, I did about 10 minutes. Anyway, so I uh, then I went ahead and quick released the rest the remaining pressure so I can take the lid off and uh, everything is great nice and tender Yum. so at this point I'm just going to take everything out put it in a pan and then I like to thicken the juices just a little bit and actually I have a just a brown gravy um, mix because we don't have cornstarch but normally you can just use a cornstarch slurry and, and turn this back on this 
um, the sear feature and bring it to a boil and it'll thicken. So I don't have that, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of brown gravy. We'll come back. Okay. Number numbers. These little onions. Oops. Steaming. Ooh, a sample. Warning, hot. Oh, yum. So, brown gravy? Yeah, it's just a brown gravy mix that I have in the cupboard. And, so, how much was that? Um, just yes. enough to kind of thicken a little bit. But again, you'd probably want to use some cornstarch. So turn it in the heat back up so it'll thicken. Right. And I just put it in mm -hmm. before it gets hot, I want to stir it in. So maybe three tablespoons, if that. Okay. So it'll just make it more beefy flavored. Is that more manly? Uh whatever. <laughs> more goody goody. <laughs> so does that have to boil to thicken? Yeah. Does it have to get that hot? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you want to bring it back to a boil and then it's done. But yeah, if you had thicker meat, you'd want to maybe, you know, you can do, like I said, you can do the slow cook like you would like a crock pot feature this has. So it'd be, you know, six to eight hours, low temp all day long and do the meat and then add the veggies later mm -hmm. um, so they don't get overcooked. Where like I did, the meat was pretty thin. So you can see that it's just, you know, how, how tender it is that it's just going to break apart and you know, be real tender to eat. So that way I just cut up everything as much as I could, same size, and put it in with the meat. Mm -hmm. uh, and it got done like, just perfect. Nothing like a hot roast dinner. In Arizona, <laughs> in January. <laughs> I know, usually that's a, it's snowing outside. This is in honor of our kids. Where we used to live. Where we used to live. No more. <laughs> now we're 65 degrees in Arizona. Yay, yay yes. Well, we got some of the roast, the onions, the potatoes, and the carrots, mm -hmm. and then our nice gravy. Mm. Put it on whatever you want. What's in the bowl? What's in the bowl? Mm -hmm. uh, grapefruit sections. Yes. Wonderful fresh. Arizona f red grapefruit fresh. We got. Yum. And there you go. Okay. Looks amazing. Okay. So here we are. <laughs> Gonna give it a sample. Here's some of the meat. Oh. Number numbers. Where are you? I am way up here. <laughs> ah. mm. oh. That's so tender. What do you think? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Winner winner pot roast dinner. Winner winner pot roast. You got the dinner. carrots. See, Mom, eat my carrots. <laughs> mm. Good job, babe. Once again. Done good. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for uh, checking us out. Uh, we'll try to do some other uh, uh, videos with some other food and different ideas. Uh, if you have something that you want to know how to cook or something to do or any questions, whatever, uh, just put them down in the comments. Uh, shoot us an email if you want to. Uh, all that information will be down in the links. Yep. Yeah.